People who know and love this woman say she's a kind person and they're horrified that her boyfriend is now accused of setting her on fire at a Golden Corral where she worked. Now we're getting our first look at the man who police say carried out the unspeakable attack. One witness we spoke with says it was horrific and she can't get the memory of it out of her mind. What we're still waiting to learn is a motive. The attack was at the Golden Corral near Normandy and 295 on the west side yesterday at dinner time. The victim, Carol Demons, works at the restaurant. Channel 4's Janice Harris joining us from the west side. Janice, you spoke with the restaurant staff today. Yes, and you know, they were so overwhelmed with emotion that they said they could not talk about this incident on camera. Extremely upset and devastated by what happened and cannot believe that anyone would do this in the first place. 58-year-old Daryl Whipple sat in court in a red jumpsuit today with little to no emotion. Less than 24 hours after police say he walked into this golden corral and set Carol Dimmons on fire. She is also his girlfriend. It was horrible. I can't even get them Im images out of my head. Grace Cooks and her son, who asked to not be on camera, were eating dinner at the Golden Corral when it happened. I see the man, he pulled the gasoline on her head. And then she tried to get away. And then she trying to go around the counter. He light her back on fire. Cooks says everyone began screaming and ran to help the woman while Whipple began swinging a knife. The police report says Whipple eventually went outside and sat down and waited for police to arrive. Dimmons was taken to UF Health Gainesville. Nearly 80% of her body was burned. Today, the staff at Golden Corral still in shock. The owners of the restaurant, Janet Murphy and Rick Eggmeyer, were too distraught to talk on camera, but told us Dimmons was always a kind person and hard worker. They can't make any sense of this heartless act. And we're told by the family that she is in an induced coma and is stable. However, Whipple is facing an attempted murder charge and is being held without bond. Also, we have learned that this is not his first domestic violence incident. We'll have more on that for you tonight at 6. Live on the West Side, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.